Once upon a time, in a quiet pond surrounded by tall grass and blooming flowers, there lived a little duckling named Daisy. Daisy had bright yellow feathers and the cutest little quack. Daisy loved following her mother everywhere. She felt safe and happy with her. But one day something unexpected happened. While Daisy was busy chasing a colourful butterfly, her mother and the other ducks waddled off to a new part of the pond. When Daisy turned around, her mother was nowhere to be found. Daisy felt a little scared. The pond suddenly felt much bigger and the tall grass seemed taller than ever before. But Daisy knew she couldn't give up. This is by far the easiest way on how you can create 3D cartoon story videos for kids. Look at this channel. It is called Fairy Tales and Stories for Kids. It only creates story videos for kids and it is getting millions of views. According to view stats, it shows that this channel is earning anywhere from $21,000 to $60 every single month. And in the last 28 days, they've already made over $17,000. And when you look at the trend, it is just going high and high, meaning there is so much potential in creating this type of content. Creating this type of videos can be done in four easy steps. So the first thing that you need when it comes to creating these story videos is by coming up with a story. So we can do it in two parts. The first part, we can write the story ourselves or we can use AI tools to write the story for us. So in today's example, we're going to use AI tool. So let's go to ChatGPT. And once we are on ChatGPT, we can give it this simple prompt that says, act like a YouTube script writer for kids, educational story videos, and write a simple, most interesting stories about a dog who lost her mother. So from there, we'll click on enter. And we are going to wait for ChatGPT to write the story for us. So now that ChatGPT is done creating our story, we can take a look at it and see what it has written for us. When you look at the script that it has given us, the first scene is the introduction. So we have the narrator and the type of a voice that a narrator must use. Here it says a soft and a warm voice. And then this is what the narrator will say. It says Daisy happily waddling beside her mother. So this is what the first scene should be all about, or this is what must be displayed on the first scene. From here, what we have to do next is to give ChatGPT this second prompt. And this prompt will say, based on the above story, give me prompts that I will use to generate consistent character images for my entire story. They must all align together, matching my character's color, size, and appearance. From there, I'll click on enter, and I'll wait for ChatGPT to give me prompts that I will use to generate images for each scene. So ChatGPT has gone ahead to give us detailed prompts that we can use to generate images for our entire story. So when we look at the first prompt, let's just read part of it. It says, create a young, bright yellow duckling with her feathers, a small orange beak, and a big, curious eyes. So this is the description of how they see our main character will look like. So from there, what I simply have to do is to go to step number two. And step number two is generating images for our story. So we're going to copy the first prompt like that. And what we simply have to do is we'll come to this website. This website is called zine.ai. Hopefully I pronounced that name correctly. I'll leave the link in the description so that you can try it completely by yourself and completely for free. And so once you sign up with your Google account, what you simply have to do is we'll come here where it says new project. This software is very easy to use and it generates a high quality images. And if you want to learn more on how you can generate images using this website, I have created a video and I'll pin it above and leave the link in the description so that you can watch that video. So once this bar opens up, what we simply have to do is give a name to our project. So we'll call this one Daisy. Daisy. From there, we need to choose the aspect ratio of our image. So we're going, we're going to select 16 by 9. And from there, we'll click on Apply. So once we play with those settings, what we want to do is come to this button here, which says uh, Text to Image. So once you click on it, this bar will open up. 
So what we simply have to do first of all is to choose a style here. So we'll click on this button and there are different styles that we can choose from. So take your time in picking your style. It's all up to you depending with what you are creating for your video. So we'll go with 3D render view one. This is one of the new feature that they've added. So we're going to click on it. And once that one is clicked, what we simply have to do is we'll come to this box here and we'll paste in our prompt. So once we paste in our prompt like that, what we simply have to do is click on this button which says generate and we'll wait for it to generate our images. So it will only generate two images at a time. Okay, so it has finished generating our images. Let's look at the images that it has generated. So over my mouse here, wow, just look at that. This is so excellent and very outstanding. It's to the point. I love the details that it has added there. And how can you tell that it was generated by AI? Let's look at the second one. Wow, this is just so amazing. Look at what it has generated for us. So from there, if you want to download your images, what you simply have to do is click on this icon here, which says download. And from there, select PNG or JPEG or SVG. And from there, you can upscale as well, but we'll just leave it like that and we'll click on download. And our image will be downloaded into our PC. We'll also click on the, this next image and we'll click on download and we'll download it like that. Okay, now that it is done, I need about four images. So what I'll simply do is using this same prompt, I will click on generate so that it can generate more similar images. All depends with what you are creating. So I'll click on generate. Okay, let's look at the second set of images it has generated for us. When we look at the first one, this is just so perfect. It's just so amazing. Look at the way it's looking. And when we look at the first set of images that it had generated for us, they look almost the same. This is just so outstanding. Let's look at the other one. This is just so perfect and excellent. So what I'll do is I will download them into my PC like that. I'll also download the second one like that. Then what I'll do from here is I'll go back to ChatGPT and I'll copy the second prompt. Then I'll go back to Zen. Then what I simply have to do is I'll delete this first prompt and I'll paste in my second prompt. Then I'll click on generate and I'll wait for it to generate the second set of images for me. Okay, so it has just finished generating the images for us. So let's take a look. Okay, this is just perfect. Let's look at the second one. Okay, this is just so amazing. So from there, what we simply have to do is come back to ChatGPT and copy the third prompt. And we'll come back to Zine and we're going to delete this prompt and we're going to paste in our third prompt. So we're going to repeat this entire process until we are done generating our images and downloading them into our PC. Okay, so now that we are done generating our images, we are going to go to step number three. And step number three is generating an audio. And to do that, we're going to use an AI tool called a Level Ups. This is one of the AI tools that I pretty love. And this is because number one, it is monetizable. And number two, it has a load of human-like voices, which you can take advantage of. And you can even clone your own voice. That's if you want to. So from here, what we simply have to do is we can come to voices. And once we have on voices, we can come to where it says library. Once we are in library, what we are looking for is a voice that is perfect for storytelling. And when we look at the categories here, we've got narrative and story, we've got conversational, we've got characters and animation. So we're going to go for narrative and story. So just listen to some of these audios that are here, the number of them. I'll select the one whom I feel is perfect for my story, like this guy, Adam Stone. So just select Adam from here. What I'll simply do is I'll click on this button, which says add to my voices like that. Perfect. From there, what I simply have to do is come to this button, which says text to speech. And from here, what I'll simply do is I'll click on this button and I'll look for the voice that I just added, which is Adam Stone's, this one. And I'll select it like that. From there, what I simply have to do is I'll go back to ChatGPT. I'll copy the introduction of what the narrator has to say at the beginning. Copy the first point and come back to 11 labs and just paste it there. From there, what I simply have to do is I'll click on generate. Okay, from there, what I simply have to do is I'll download my audio here at the bottom like that. That's perfect. From there, what I simply have to do is I'll go back to ChatGPT and I'll copy the second point up to that much. And I'll come back to 11 labs and I'll paste my second point there like that. And I'll click on generate like that. So from there, I'll click on download 
I'll keep on repeating this entire process because what ChatGPT wrote for us, it included the scene and how the background scene must also look because the story that we got from ChatGPT had all the details that we need. Some of the details are not supposed to be generated into an audio. Okay, from there, once you are done generating your audio, what you simply have to do is come to step number three, which is generating our entire video. And to do that, we get to use a free video editing tool called CapCut. So once CapCut opens up, what I'll simply do is I'll click on this button, which says new project. And from there, what we have to do is we need to import our audio and our media files here. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll start with my audio and I'll import my audio like that. So I give each audio sound a number so that I may easily follow the sequence of the audio. So I'll select the first audio and I'll place it on the timeline like that. And I'll get the second audio. Also get the third audio and I'll get the fourth one and I'll place it on the timeline like that. So this is perfect. From here, what I simply have to do is I'll bring in my images and I'll press them like that so that I can just have an order of how things must be. I'll select the first one and I'll place the first image like that and I'll place the second image like that, the third image like that and the fourth image like that. So from here, what I simply have to do is I need to listen to the audio and, and making sure that I align my image with my audio. And from there, what I'll simply do is I'll push in the second set of images like that. This is perfect. So once you're done placing your images where they're supposed to be, there are two more things that we must do. Number one is by adding in some caption. So what we can do is we can come to text and from there we can come to where it says auto caption. And from there we can click on where it says create caption. From there, CapCut will give us captions for our video. So from there, what you simply have to do is you can come to this button, which says system. You can choose the font style that you want. And here you can increase the size and here you can choose the color of your font. And you can also add in the some presets. That's if you want to add them into your video. Now coming to the second thing, which is our story looks pretty boring. So what we can simply do to make it even more interesting is by animating our images. So when we click on our image like that, we can come to this button, which says animation. And from there, we can choose the animation style that we want for our image. And from there, we can see how it looks and it will be animated like that. This is just so perfect. And from there, we can place all these animation on every image that we have so that it moves in so smoothly and steadily. If you have reached so far in this video, please give it a like. And I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Once we are done adding in all our animations, from there, what I simply have to do is come to where it says export and give a title to my video, Daisy or Daisy, whichever is easier for you. And from there, what I simply have to do is click on export and my video will be exported into my PC. So let me show you how the final product looks and God bless you. See you in this next video.